Figma is a great fit for the classroom, in person, or remote. Figma's education plan is free for students and educators, and since Figma runs on the web, there's no IT provisioning or installation required to get you started. You can visit figma.com slash education slash apply to get your education account verified to create education teams. There are many ways to use Figma in your classroom. In this video, we'll focus on how to make Figma a shared space for working together in a file during class and managing your class and assignments in Figma. Use the timestamps in the video description to jump to different sections. Figma is designed for real-time collaboration, making it a great fit for classroom activities like iterating on a design file together. Files are a blank canvas for anything from brainstorming to wireframing to prototyping or just having fun together. In this example classroom exercise, we'll teach students how to use text size, weight, position, and other tools to create information hierarchy for an event poster. Click the share button to invite your students as editors by entering their email addresses. You can also copy the URL and share the link if the permissions are set to anyone with the link and edit. Now that your students are in the file with you, you can get started teaching and designing together. Using observation mode, you can give live lectures or guide students without needing to share your screen. Have each student click on your avatar in the top right corner to start observing you. With each student following you, you can change aspects of this poster, like the font size, weight, or position of the text layers to teach principles of hierarchy. They'll instantly see the updates to the design file. After learning these principles of hierarchy, you can revisit poster design later in the semester and have your students create polished products with other skills they've learned during the semester. After the lesson, your students are ready to break out and design on their own. While working in the file, use observation mode to jump around the file and simulate the experience of walking around the classroom. Give feedback and facilitate design critiques using comments, virtual sticky notes, dot voting, or a text box with written feedback directly on the canvas. After everyone completes the exercise, we have a collection of frames that contain student work. Click the play button to enter presentation view, where you spotlight each poster in isolation and share each student's work with the class. Navigate forward and backwards using the arrows or the arrow keys on your keyboard. Presentation view can also be used to preview interactive prototypes or even your lecture slides. Beyond working together in a single file, Figma can be a central hub for your classroom assignments. Because Figma runs on the web, files are always up to date without students or educators having to upload, download, or email anything. In this example, we'll set up classroom hubs across a few class sections and issue an assignment. To keep your files and collaborators organized, you'll want to create a team. We've created a new education team for the upcoming fall semester. Within the team, we have three projects. Two projects mirror the two sections of the classes we are teaching this semester. The third project is for class materials like our syllabus, lecture slides, assignments, or shared team libraries. Within the projects are files. Files are where the work and designing happens. For example, a file can include your homework assignment on the first page, and you can create a working space for each student on different pages. Remember, this is just one way to organize your teams, projects, and files to fit the structure of your classroom. When you're ready to create your education team, click New Team from the File Browser and name the team. We'll invite our students to our team later, so we'll skip inviting for now. Then, choose Education from the options. After accepting Figma's terms, we'll be taken to our new education team. Teams in Figma have a description field where you can add useful information about yourself, the courses you're teaching, or link out to additional class resources such as a syllabus, your school's classroom management system, or complimentary reading. To create a new project, click New Project in the top right corner of the team page. We'll use projects for our class sections, so we'll name this project Section 1. Our new project is created and is automatically favorited. Favorited projects appear in the left-hand sidebar under the team name, so you can easily access them without visiting the team page first. They'll also have a star, which you can click to unfavorite or favorite your favorite projects. Projects also have a description field, like Teams. 
You can create a new file by clicking the button in the center of an empty team, or the plus button in the top right corner. Figma also supports importing sketch files to make switching to Figma quick and easy. You can set a thumbnail for a file to make it easier to visually identify, group with similar files, or communicate the file status such as submitted. With the file open, right click on a frame and choose set as thumbnail. You can also pin files to the top of the project by right clicking on it and choosing pin to project. This makes it easy for all students to find the right file, such as today's assignment. Now that your classroom is set up, before the semester starts or on the first day of class, you can invite your students to the Figma team. If we create projects for each section, we can choose to invite students to just a project and not the entire team. To invite your students to your team, go to the team page, click invite members, and enter your team's email address. For larger classes, you can copy and paste a list of all student email addresses here to send invites in bulk. Change the permission level to can edit and click send invite to email an invitation. After accepting the invitation, your students appear under members on the team page. Figma will only display five members at a time. However, you can click others to see a full list of all team members. On a project page, you can invite students to the team using the share button in the top right corner. Within projects, Figma will display the top five recent contributors to the project instead of members. You can also create invite-only projects where you can keep more sensitive information, works in progress, or future assignments you don't want students to see. You can even invite your teaching assistants to these private projects. When you're ready to share the next class assignment, just move it from your private project to a public project in the team. For assignments students will do outside of class, you could create an assignment brief or template file and pin it to the project. Here we are using the mini design research paper by Miguel Cardona as an example assignment, which he has published to the Figma community. You can get your own copy by duplicating the file. Just visit the link in the video description. Students can right click on a pinned file to duplicate it and create their own copy. When your students complete their assignments, they can denote the file as complete and submitted by replacing their file thumbnail with the status badge or changing the color of the thumbnail. Remember, the file is always up to date. You can see the status of the assignments at a glance directly within the file browser. Checking in on your students' progress on their assignments is easy too. Just hop into a file at any time. No need to attach and send files back and forth. If you're concerned about students continuing to work on a file after the deadline, Figma's version history will display a date and timestamp of the last edit if you need to audit. Or use Figma's export to PDF function from the menu to have a view-only version of their designs preserved in time. Figma can be a central hub for your classroom and assignments. It's a collaborative space where students learn to build together, and because Figma runs on the web, it works on any operating system, even Linux and Chromebook. Better yet, there's no account provisioning or installation required. Just send a link and invite your team. For more resources to use in your classroom, visit the Figma for Education community profile here. Verify your free education account using the link in the description and subscribe to Figma on YouTube for the latest product and community news.